Welcome back. If you feel like your productivity has taken a hit or you're going to want to tune into this next conversation, I spoke with expert Jessica Naziri all about how you can revamp your workspace, set work-life balance, and more. Let's take a look. Does productivity feel like a mission impossible right now? Well, women across the country are being forced to juggle home life, virtual schooling, and remote work all at once. They're looking for a way to work smart and find balance. Well, women's lifestyle and technology expert Jessica Naziri is here. You've seen her on Today, CNN, CNBC, and TechCrunch, and she's going to help women across America with four key hacks for increasing productivity at home. Thanks, Jessica, for being here today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Listen, it's not a secret. We're all navigating this new normal, but I'd have to say, uh, maybe I'm biased, it's a little more difficult for us moms working at home. Um, now, I do have some tips, like you said, and this goes for everyone being at home. Customize a routine specific to you and your needs. It's really important to figure out what kind of time of day actually allows you to structure your day for success. So ask yourself, do you work better in the morning or are you an afternoon person, maybe a night person? When you know the time of day that you actually get the most done and you're most productive, those are the hours that you should say, okay, these are my working hours and tell everyone in the household, these are the times there that you cannot bother me because this is when I'm getting things done. And with the chaos of home, it's hard to carve out a workspace, but you say it's essential to do just that for productivity and comfort. So what are some elements of a productive workspace? Yes, so for me, it's all about the technology and ergonomics. An office desk is really important. I have a standing desk, really great for energy. You're standing up, you're not sitting down slouched all day. And if you don't necessarily want to invest in a new piece of equipment, a more affordable option is a seat cushion. Another cost savvy option is a laptop stand to help you adjust the height and angle of your work surface. A floor mat can help you maintain good posture during long working hours as well. And with remote work and social distancing, it's easy to feel very isolated from your community. What are some ways to keep the connection alive with colleagues, friends, and family? Yes, connection is super important, and we all make excuses because we're so tired, all that Zoom fatigue. But something that you can do is put in a calendar invite to let's say one time a week or one hour a week to call colleagues, call family, call friends. That way you feel connected when we're all so isolated. And with remote learning and working, setting work-life boundaries around screen time is very important, especially for protecting our eyes. So what kind of boundaries do you suggest and what technological innovations are there to help shift focus between digital devices and offline to help prevent eye strain? Yes, it's not a secret. We're all spending so much more time on our phones, computers, our screens. I'm about seven hours a day on average. That's why I'm so lucky to have discovered Biofinity Energist contact lenses. These contact lenses help with common symptoms of digital eye strain and correct blurry vision so you can easily shift from online to offline activities with less strain. Now, I didn't know anything about digital eye strain. I didn't even think it was a thing, but it is, and about 70% of American adults are going through this, but luckily, these contacts have really made a world of a difference for me. Now, another thing that you can do, take breaks. Go outside, turn off the computer. You need to, you know, get your eyes off the screen and also get mental breaks as well. And where can we find more information about everything you've mentioned? Yes, absolutely. So you can check out my website, techsesh.co, to learn about some of the great tips here, but also head to biofinityenergist.com to sign up for a free trial if you're also experiencing dry, tired eyes like me. Well, thank you so much, Jessica Naziri, for joining us today here on Park State Television and helping us be productive and balanced and do all those things during this interesting time. Thank you.